Welcome back to another On To Go Wrestling q and I'm here with The Rock and Rebel. My name is Jason Hevel. How long have you been in the wrestling business? 27 years. Who were you trained by? Rock and Roll Express. What inspired you to get into the wrestling business? Well, I used to take martial arts and gymnastics and uh, just always loved the sport of professional wrestling and saw one of my friends do it and that did it for me. So what what do you think of, what did, how did you think of the name of the Rock and Rebel? Well, you know, it's, I always liked rock and roll music, and uh, growing up, I was always a rebel of the family, so just put them two together, and it stuck. So what were some of your favorite matches in your wrestling career? Wow. Favorite matches. You know, I mean, uh, some of the feuds, like I said, with me and Sam in, in uh, Tri-State and ECW, you know, we just knew each other real well, and you know, had some good feuds there. I mean... Greg Matthews and I as a tag team, Glenn Osborne as a tag team partner too. I mean, you know, it's so many, it's like real hard just to say, you know, you know, who was some of my favorite fruits. I had so many good matches. I can't, you know, really say too too much, you know, about that. During your wrestling career, have you ever been become physically injured? Oh, yeah. Had uh, both knees operated on, broke a couple bones, you know, you know, it's par for the course. So do you do you uh, enjoy doing the hardcore style, or would you rather do normal style wrestling? I can wrestle, I can brawl, I can do it all. You know, so it's no problem. I'm you know I'm used to it all. Do you like wrestling as the heel or the face? Definitely as a heel. I'd love to be a heel, but you know most places I go, it's unfortunate. You know they put me as the baby face. So what do you like to do outside your wrestling career? You know I work out. You know I you know own a family business and. You know, I keep myself busy, you know, and try to stay in shape, you know, and, you know, hopefully have some longevity in this business. If you had some, if you had advice for someone pursuing a wrestling career, what would they be? Well, what I can tell you is you get out of it what you put into it. It's the best thing I can tell you. So if they ever made a movie about the Rock and Rebel, what actor could play you and what would the title be? Nobody could fucking play me, just me. That's, I'm sorry to say, but maybe my son when he grows up. But other than that, I don't think anybody else can. What would you name your movie? I have no fucking idea. So who, if you, if you could wrestle anybody on TV today, who would it be? Wow, that's hard to say. You know, half of them are the drizzling shits, but I don't know. Maybe Dean, Am- Dean Ambrose. I can see that. Um, so what's some of your next upcoming shows? Uh, well, next week I'm in Delaware for 1CW. Uh, the 28th I'm in Parksburg for Keystone. The 29th I'm over in York uh, for Ray Alexander's group. We're back here April 4th, April 11th. I'm up in uh, Honesdale. Uh, the 18th we're back in Delaware. The uh, 24th, we're up uh, in uh, Lewistown. 25th, we're over in uh, Carlisle. So, I mean, that's just to name a few. So, what, so what's been some of your favorite title range you've had? Well, I mean, I've, I've been two-time heavyweight champion here, a couple tag team championships here, um, CZW tag champs, 3PW tag champs, uh, Tri-State Wrestle Alliance heavyweight champ. You know, so, I mean, it's just... I really, uh, titles really don't mean much to me. You know, accomplishing them is the great thing. Uh, the runs, uh, I'd probably say probably three PW uh, tag team with uh, Greg Matthews because we wrestled a lot of different uh, tag teams. America's Most Wanted, uh, wrestled a lot of Ring of Honor guys, you know. So, you know, I'd probably say it's probably one of the best ones we had. So what's the difference between the wrestling that you grew up on and the wrestling today? Uh... Well, as you know, the old school stuff, you know, was all about the gimmick and everything. You know, guys try to wrestle now, um, and they forget about how to entertain the fans. So if you could go back in time, what would you change about the wrestling business? Try to have it uh, go back to old school and uh, really have the guys focus on uh, what it's like to uh, go back to your basics and, you know, not all the crazy uh, high-flying stuff because that doesn't always sell to everybody. It does to a certain point, but the people want to be entertained. People like the old-school Hulk Hogan's, the old-school Ric Flair's, 
you know, they like the old WWF stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because the new stuff, it really doesn't appear to them because they always have to go out and try to top everything they do, and that's what kills the business. If they go out there and just try to entertain them, like Hulk Hogan, he never had to do more than, what, three or four moves? Mm-hmm. And the crowd loved them all the time, and that's what they mean by entertaining the business. Sometimes less is better than more. Where can we find out more information on the Rock and Rebel? Go to rockandrebel.com, or you can see me at Rock and Rebel or Chuck Williams on Facebook. Do you do you have any merchandise that you want to advertise? Well, you know, I have Rock and Rebel T-shirts. You know, your your wife here has bought my underwear. You know, so you know she could probably showcase some of that for me. You know, so but you know, there's all kinds of merchandise I have out there. So you can you know catch it on my Facebook page or you know on my website. Yeah, <laughs> this includes the wrestling interview with uh, Rock and Rebel. My name is Jason Elvey. You can find me on Facebook.com, QA Wrestling, the Indie Wrestling fan on YouTube. Any la- any closing words from the Rock and Rebel? All I could say is support professional wrestling. When you come to see the Rock and Rebel, you are going to be entertained. Come out and see us. You won't be disappointed. I'd like to thank you for your time. Anywhere there's a wrestling show, I'm always on the go. Thank you for your time. And this is Jason Evel from On The Go Wrestling signing out.